three of the six times involved the Dodgers. And it looks like it's going to be four out of seven. Popped up. We are this close to it. And St. Louis is going to the series. And they deserve it. They stopped Valenzuela. They spotted Hershiser, a four to one lead. They knocked him out. And they came back down 5-4 in the ninth inning against Tom Needenfuehr. And that's enough tribute to the Cardinals. They did what they had to do and beat the Dodgers seven to five. A worthy champion of the National League and a worthy representative to go into the World Series. And the Dodgers come up a buck short. Jack Clark being mobbed. Greg Brock staring off into eternity. And we'll be back. Beer from Miller Flair of the game is the Cardinals' Jack Clark. Light beer from Miller, happy to present a check for $1,000 in the name of Jack Clark to help fight multiple sclerosis. Jack being doused by the champagne, coming up with a three-run home run when the Dodgers opted to pitch to him with first base open. And, of course, that will haunt Lasorda. He didn't have a left-hander to come in to pitch to Van Slyke. And he didn't have a right-hander then to really come in and counter another Herzog move. And it's pretty obvious. The managers always have the reasons, but the second guess is going to get him. Everybody's going to say, why didn't he walk him? You know that Clark can hit him. He's been able to handle Vance like He only had one guess. He made it and got burned. But you got your best relief pitcher out there, and you have to give credit to Clark, who had to come back, because he was up in the clutch situation earlier and didn't do anything. This time he did, and the Cardinals have battled back all year are going to be in the World Series. And... And there you see it. That pretty much says it all. When you That's look at Mike, Mike Marshall, Marshall, who for one brief shining moment turned this place into Camelot when he hit the home run in the bottom of the eighth. But fame and fortune, such a transitory thing. One minute Marshall was the hero, and the next minute he's lost in the shuffle. But when you look at it, the Cardinals are the better team and deserve to go. They were down two games to none. They got their act together and won four in a row. And they, they beat the best. And they beat the best the Dodgers had. What a year for the Cardinals. And the magic began when they got home to St. Louis. Things with Hershiser when you were down 4-1, were you thinking seventh game? 
Not really, because we've been hitting the ball pretty good off of him. Even in the ball game, he beat us 8-2 the other night. We hit the ball fairly hard, but we didn't stay close enough to do anything. Today, I got to give him a lot of credit. I don't think he had his good stuff, and he kept battling, battling, and he bent a little bit, but he really didn't break. But Ozzie Smith, again, got the big hit off of Needenfjord to tie the ball game. And, of course, then he, uh, he struck out Jack uh, with a man on third and one out, and Jack got back at him. In the ninth it, inning, he, he had it, a pitch to him, and Jack nailed one. It looked like Lasorda was thinking about it. Did you think they were going to walk Clark? Well, you know, a manager only has, he's got to make a guess, and I think he wanted to go strength against strength, and it's just one of those things that happened, but I don't think you can second guess that. we got to go. Enough. Thank you very much, buddy. Let's send you back upstairs. Okay, remember tonight, Game 7 of the American League Championship featuring Dave Steve and Brett Saberhagen. That's at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. For Joe Garagiola, this is Vin Scully. So long. We came back, and uh, Ozzy Smith got an awful big hit. When you consider those things with Hershiser, when you were down 4-1, were you thinking seventh game? Not really, because we've been hitting the ball pretty good off of him. Even in the ball game, he beat us 8-2 the other night. We hit the ball fairly hard, but we didn't stay close enough to do anything. Today, I got to give him a lot of credit. I don't think he had his good stuff, and he kept battling, battling, and he bent a little bit, but he really didn't break. But Ozzy Smith again got the big hit off of Needenfjord to tie the ball game. And of course, then he, uh, he struck out Jack uh, with a man on third and one out, and Jack got back at him. In the ninth inning, he, he had a pitch to him, and Jack nailed him. Congratulations. Thank TV. you, sir. Thank you. How does it feel? I tell you what, it's a feeling not like, like the other one, you know. We're going right to the top. We got a shot at the World Series, and hey, it's hard to explain. I'm just so happy right now, baby. All right, enjoy. I plan on Congratulations, my man. What can you say? It's uh, it's been like this whole year, and uh, I think Jack Clark is just about the happiest man in all the world right now. And you and might be the second happiest. I think there's 25 other guys right behind him. Can you come up with the words to describe not just the comeback in this series, but this comeback today? It's simply marvelous. <laughs> My congratulations to you. Thank you very much. This is great. Now we just want to go to the series and do it and give it our best and do it there. You guys could have folded several times. Is... Yeah, well, we didn't. We just was going to come out here and play our game and get our best. We know we had another shot tomorrow, but we wanted to get it today. And, uh, man, everybody came through in the clutch, and it's a super feeling. What was the feeling on that final out? Woo! Relief! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! It doesn't matter who, huh? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter who. Okay. We just want to go up there and play. All righty. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, like Where? It. Dang it. All right. Just some of the comments you heard from the ball players, and we're back in the locker room. I'll tell you what. It doesn't matter who. <laughs> Time. I don't know what it was, when it was going to feel like, or what it's been a long time since I just had an extra base hit, and I just going to give it a couple shots in that situation, put us in the lead, and I was glad I got a pitch and hit that one, didn't let it go any further, and got over with, and we win. It's a great feeling. I'm really happy for these guys. Did he just her watch and challenge you? Was it strength on strength? Yeah, it was. It was a pitch I was down. He struck me out the time before, and he threw the ball by me, and. Uh, it's one of the few times I've somebody's been walked in front of me to get to me, and when he struck me out, I was real down a little bit because I didn't get a chance to help my team, but the payback was even sweeter. In terms of glory experience. If we gave the Dodgers the edge, if they could come back and beat us this game, that they were going to be off the cup tomorrow. So just praise the Lord that we got it done today. Tommy, this ball club has come back all year. Today you had to come back twice to do it. Did you always think that something was going to happen to win this one? Well, when we came back and tied it at 4-4, you know, we felt it was our ball game, and then they came back and got the, the run on the home run, and, you know, we're going into the ninth inning. We needed to at least get one, and uh, somehow uh, we got we got three. It was sure nice to get a couple extra ones. Uh, Big Jack saved the best for last. On, and Jack Clark is with us right now. Of course, he's receiving the congratulations from friends and teammates of the Cardinals. Jack, we just showed the home run. What was your <laughs> feeling when it occurred? Well, I was just really happy for my teammates. That's my, I knew it was gone right when I hit it. I knew we had the lead, and the World Series is only three outs away for us. And, uh, you know, it's been not, you know, uh, that's why I looked in the dugout, because it's for my teammates, for Whitey and the Cardinal fans, because 
Uh, it hasn't been one guy. Nobody's been the hero here. It's been somebody different every day. Everybody's a hero over here, and I've just been a part of it. I can't help but remember Tommy Hur when we talked at the beginning of the series. Tommy was saying, we have a secret weapon. Don't forget, swing of the bat. Jack Clark can change the complexion. Remember? And you said, he said that about me? Well, that's, that's another little ingredient we have. Obviously, everybody knows we have the speed, and that's why they traded for me. They want that not all the time, but every once in a while, and uh, the situation was right, and... Uh, and, uh, you know, just thank the Lord for it. You've been a bridesmaid. Here you go to the World Series. Going to the World Series, and uh, it's time to celebrate. I got to get back with my teammates, my family, and friends, and uh, say hello to my mother and father, and God bless them, and uh, we love all the fans back in St. Louis. Be home tonight. They're coming home. inning Wednesday afternoon at Dodger Stadium carried the St. Louis Cardinals to the National League pennant. That's the first thing I wanted to do was run to all my teammates, but that's for them. That's for the Cardinals and uh, all the fans, great fans of mother and father. And I'm just really thank the Lord. It was just a tremendous fence, the greatest hit I ever had in my life, and the timing couldn't have been more perfect. Before the Jack Clark heroics, the Dodgers seemed bound and determined to bring us all back tomorrow night for the seventh and deciding game. With a 2-1 lead in the fifth, Mariano Duncan was safe when Joaquin Andujar could not handle his high comebacker to the mound. He later scored on a sacrifice fly by Pedro Guerrero, and then Bill Madlock seemed to seal the Redbirds' fate with a solo shot to left field, and L.A. led 4-1. But this one was far from over. The Cardinals fought back.